Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to talk about what's new in uh, ICX 8080, which is the death of dual mode finally. So um, for many years, if you needed to tag and untag a port on an ICX switch, you needed to run a, a dual mode command on the interface. Um, so the way that works is if you were going to an IP phone, say, or, you know, a, um, a wireless access point that required tagged VLANs as well as, as untagged or access, you needed to do dual mode. So the way we did that is you created all the VLANs on the interface, you tagged all those VLANs on the interface, and then this the one VLAN that you wanted untagged, so in this case we're sending laptop or untagged traffic on VLAN 10, so we went to that interface and did a dual mode 10. So this number that falls to dual mode command is the untagged VLAN, right? Because you can have as many tagged VLANs on a port as you want, but you can only have a single untagged. So that's the old way to do it. So dual mode command is now depreciated and gone. And so the way we do it now is just as you would expect it to be with tagged and untagged, right? So in this case, I am just running a default config. I've got no VLAN, so all the ports are in VLAN 1 by default, right? And so if I wanted to create a VLAN, say VLAN 10, I could uh, untag Ethernet 111, and then I could go VLAN 20 and tag Ethernet 111, right? And so if I look at the running config, I now have tagged and untagged on the same interface at the same time. So that was impossible in the past, right? If you tried to put a tag, uh, put a uh, put an untag on a tagged interface, it would tell you that it was already in another VLAN and you couldn't do that. Um, alternatively, you know, if we took another interface, say uh, VLAN 20, um, tag Ethernet one slash one slash two, for example, uh, if we now do a show VLAN, you will see that uh, uh, one slash one, so one slash one slash two is still in VLAN one, even though it's also tagged in one slash one slash two, right? Unit one, module one, port one, um, and unit one, module one, port two. So we can see that it's tagged. VLAN 20 is tagged on port two, but it stays untagged in the default VLAN if you don't specify another. So be weary of that, right? This is the only uh, gotcha with this, is that in the past, if you tagged a VLAN uh, on an interface, it would take that interface out of the default VLAN, right? And so it wouldn't be untagged anywhere unless you did a dual mode. Now it stays untagged in the in the default VLAN. So if you're not running spanning tree on the default VLAN, for example, and um, you know, and you tag it in another interface and you think it's out of that default VLAN, it's not, right? So you could still have a layer two loop on that default VLAN, even though you believe you've taken it out. Um, so that's the only uh, caveat, the only thing to be worried about. Um, the other thing is if you've got old configs that are dual mode, when you upgrade them to 8080, the system is going to convert those from dual mode to this new tagged and untagged method for you automatically. So you don't have to worry about doing that upgrade and all of a sudden, you know, your ports are, are, are in the wrong VLANs. It will read those dual mode configs and convert them the first time the system reboots after the reload. So, um, you know, this is a beautiful thing. It's it's uh, somewhat confusing for new users to ruckus to have to learn dual mode. And so we've eliminated that obstacle by, you know, just allowing you to, to tag and untag at the same time. So um, just making it easier for you one software version at a time. Anyway, thanks for joining and we'll see you next time. Take care.